it's an update that JR found for me, and it has to do with a statement that was released by Target CEO Greg Steinhefel. Sure, if you say so. <laughs> and he uh, is apologizing for the fact that Target donated $150,000 to an extreme right winger in Minnesota. Uh, I want to read you his apology. Okay. Let me know if you think that it is a good apology. All right. While I firmly believe that a business climate conducive to growth is critical to our future, I realize our decision affected many of you in a way I did not anticipate, and for that I am genuinely sorry. He added, the diversity of our team is an important aspect of our unique culture and our success as a company, and we did not mean to disappoint you, our team, or our valued guests. Well. So maybe they just thought, okay, this is a more business-friendly guy and we're going to give the money to him. Maybe they didn't realize the other part. I actually think that's what the case was because this guy, he's for uh, lowering taxes or cutting taxes, and I think that's what Target was focusing on. Maybe some people knew about his... Well, it's not a, it's a big story in Minnesota. You'd mm -hmm. have to be, but I mean, maybe they didn't care. I don't know. Anyway, they're apologizing. The question is... Okay, what now? You're yeah, already, you're, I mean, that's all, that's all yeah. that's going to happen. They've already donated the money. They're apologizing. They give $150,000 to the other guy. Call it even. Mm, that's a good solution to the yeah. problem. Do you think that they're actually going to do that? I don't no. know. I don't know. But, it's a, you know, we were talking about the boycott, and, you know, this, it had some effect. The stories mm -hmm. and the... It had some effect. They're at least responding to it. Right. Well, I, I think it's important to see what the next step is. Now, I agreed to the boycott, uh, and I'm... Hesitantly. Hesitantly, but I agreed to it because I think it's the right thing to do. Right. And I think I'm, I'm going on strong. You're like, going to continue with the I've boycott? I've gone 24 hours without going, walking into a Target. It's no. extremely difficult, but I think I'm going to survive. Wow, 24. You know uh, uh, what was just occurring to me? This is what state? Where is this? Where this is, is this in all? Minnesota. That's where our Target is. It gets uh, in the winter, like even in the fall, mm -hmm. it gets cold in Minnesota. Right. Really cold. Mm -hmm. You know what they could use? Oh, they can use a TYT sweat shirt. There you go. Not there a sweater, go. a sweat shirt. Bundle up for either, uh, available now for you for either 20, 25, 30, 35, 44, 48, some amount of dollars, this could be yours. By the way, yeah, and let me just say one thing. People always say this when they're trying to sell stuff, but we're being serious. We have a limited amount of hoodies. Yeah, like, we, have like, we have like four. We do, and we're <laughs> trying to get rid of them, so please. No, but they're, uh, they're very nice. They're thick. They're nice. Oh, I can barely lift it. Wow, it is really thick. Wow. It smells good, too. So uh, anyway, there you go. If you're in Minnesota or anywhere else, uh, pick up that hoodie. It was really thick. Like, you could do curls with that. Did you know that TYT is not only a YouTube show? We actually have a three-hour show plus a members only. Yes. In Members Only, we get a little race here, more personal stories, more political stories to uh, get to talk a little bit more in depth. And if you're a member, you, we take out all the ads for you, and you can podcast it, audio or video. You can put it in your car and listen to it like it's a radio station, so then you don't have to listen to that annoying stuff on the radio. Right, and what you get to do is go to theyoungturks.com, go through our archives, and... Choose which show you want to watch. You can watch shows from months ago. You can watch a show that you missed yesterday. The whole point is that members get on-demand content.